Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Dr. Kyle Knox. I'm a sports chiropractor in Westlake Village, California. I have a practice here. It's very sports driven. I've traveled around the world and got to work with USA Water Polo. Been around the world and seeing these athletes play, it's amazing on how much demand they put on their bodies and especially even the amateur to the youth athlete. Uh, we're here to talk about the mass suit. It's a tool that has an amazing ability to stimulate the core, call in more power for your sport, and it's just another, another way we can incorporate um, more training in a very specific way. Jump training is important for every athlete. I don't care what sport you're in. So we're gonna go through how the suit has um, created, and we'll just take a pause here. So if you're in the weight room, and you're going to be doing um, weightlifting, let's say bench press, and you know that your max rep is 220 or 250. You know that that, that goal is to get up to the 300 or the 330. There's a number involved that's something mentally that you know that, look, I'm going to push through until I hit that 330. It, it's something you can achieve. Now, how do we take that and put it onto the field? You know, I'm going to do my 40 faster. I'm going to have a higher vertical, okay? But how do we increase power output with that same, it, it, how do we increase the power output as we're trying to achieve that same um, goal? And that's where the mass suit really comes in. So for an example, if you're gonna be doing you know, um, a leap forward or a vertical leap, your brain knows that you're able to achieve that distance. Okay, so when you put the suit on, in this bottom picture, he knows that he is loading and he's gonna be, let's say, hitting here. Okay, when he puts the suit on, his brain is still saying, I'm going to hit that distance, but his body is now saying, wow, I've got something loading my body here. I've got to work even harder. So he calls on true core power muscles to achieve that same distance. It's pretty fun. You know, his brain is still saying, I want to achieve that distance. I want to get to that, that place. So what he does is he's calling a lot more into the posterior chain. He sits back into his glute a lot more. He's, he's lowering his, his glute into, into his heels, and he's able to explode with a lot more a lot more power to achieve the same distance and he does. So with this one he's a little weak on his explosion and on the one above because he has his arm strapped in and his leg strapped in he's having to explode with a lot more force and he achieves the same thing. You can only imagine what that does when he takes the suit off after working out like that. The same thing on the, um, the vertical. So this is him and he doesn't have the suit strapped in. He's, this is his first time. He has a little bit of a right hip um, weakness. You can see how his knee dives in as he's exploding. He's used to that, so he's going to explode with that right hip that kind of goes in a little bit, and he's going to get his vertical. What we see with that is he, we'll show it in the next slide, but he achieves a rotation as he's going up. He, his body naturally wants to rotate because of that weakness. Now we take the suit, and yeah, his lower back is not as flat as I'd like it to be because it's his first time in the suit but he, he's incorporating and he's trying to recruit as much as he can so that he can, like we again, his, his uh, height is a certain height. He wants to achieve that, so he's gonna call on a lot more power to achieve it. And what we see is this neat little diagram here. This is without the suit, and this is with the suit on. With the suit, uh, with the suit off, he's got a rotation, and he's, just like if you're in for a, uh, catching a, a ball in flight, he's got a little bit of rotation, and yeah, he gets a lot higher. But as we see with the suit, his body is in full, full extension and he's calling, recruiting a lot more muscle because he's, he's suspended from, from above to below. He doesn't have a lot of rotation, which is great because he's a lot more stable for catching and, and for landing as well. And, and that's also something that was pretty amazing is as, as the athlete was going through either the vertical or the, the leap forward, we were seeing that their awareness of their body was is heightened because they're loaded. They don't want to land with without sta stability, so they're a lot more aware of that landing. So when they're landing, they were they had their their base underneath them. They weren't getting over their knees. They weren't getting into their toes. They they made sure that they were landing with stability, and that's important for any athlete because you know we see a lot of ACL tears or MCL tears because you're landing with an unstable surface. So this is another example of how he was able to achieve more power output with, um, with the leap forward. The top picture shows him hyperextending and creating a hyperextension almost of his back to, to achieve that, that velocity forward. With the suit on, he was loading so much more that he has a lot more of an A-line. 
So that protects his core. He's using a lot more of that core as he's exploding forward. So that was just another finding we had. If you're in um, at the house and you don't have access to a, a beautiful gym, why not utilize a piece of equipment that you can achieve a lot more power? You can have a lot of functional movement with a load and overall we can see a lot less injury because of the suit. We're going to talk a little bit about injury prevention. When we're talking about sports and where an athlete is in their, their specific time frame, um, you watch a lot of professional athletes, they'll go through their season and they have a maintenance, you know, they're constantly maintaining, they have their recovery, then they get off season and they have their strengthening season, they, they want to rebuild for the next season. We see a lot of young athletes today epidemically getting injured and it's a lot of repetitive stresses they're putting on their body without a lot of balance. Um, they don't have somebody to do checks and balances just like a professional athlete. So the mass suit has been a great tool for me in my practice to really see imbalances and, and touch on those and be able to tell the athlete, look, you're in your stabilization phase or what, we, what I call my stabilization phase before we get into the strength and, and power and dirts. Um, you're not able to hold a position statically and, and it really exposes that with a mass suit. It's a pretty amazing tool that way. Um, so when I'm looking at an athlete and saying, do we need to move forward or do we need to step back a moment? Um, it's nice to have a tool that allows you to make that judgment with um, a little bit more exposure. And I like to use that word exposure because you really are exposing a weakness. Um, just like the example I used earlier, we had somebody that had a hip, um, hip weakness for water polo. They are having knee pain, and yes, they're having pain in the knee, but is it truly coming from that? No, it's coming from that hip. And when they put that mass suit on, you can see how the hip is activated, and it goes right back into proper position. Now, our goal from that is to take that, that education that we learned from that and, and stabilize the hip so they can get back without the mass suit. Again, it's another tool. It really helps us point out the in insufficiencies in the movement and so that we can help that athlete move forward, get more power, get more strength, and not break down. And that's the whole goal of it is we want to take these young athletes, we want to empower them so they don't get injured and, and really find what that weakness is, is telling us.